welcome back to my channel guys if you are new here welcome i am going to do something a little bit different today which is talk about my favorite pieces that i have been loving over the past few months so it just turned from winter to spring so i'm excited to share like a couple pieces that i was really loving for winter but also that can transition nicely into spring just in case it's a little bit cool out one morning or in the evening so yeah i'm just gonna dive right in and tell you about all of my favorite things i just saw two clients and i'm running out of daylight so i'm gonna try to do the best i can and film as much as i possibly can right now personally i absolutely love winter fashion because you can bundle up in a huge gorgeous camel coat and make any outfit super chic i love turtlenecks i love thick sweaters like knits i love high-waisted wide leg pleated pants and my loafers, my boots, like I just kind of love it all. There may be more winter mixed in just because I think it's the chicest. So I'm very much into monochromatic fashion. Like you're not gonna see me wearing a lot of color. I'm very much into ivories, beiges, blacks, some browns, like anything neutral I'm obsessed with. I would rather buy like a more expensive, good quality item that's gonna last me years than like a cheaper item, but I will be sharing multiple price points. Like not everything is crazy expensive. I'll be sharing a bag that I love and my latest lip combination that I'm really loving too. I strive for a capsule wardrobe. I just feel like my style is shooting for elegant, clean, simple, modern, and it's minimalist because if you're buying kind of all of the same colors, it's really easy to just mix and match literally everything and like put together an outfit so fast and you feel so chic every time. I did like a huge closet clean out a few months ago and donated probably five bags to Goodwill. And it felt so good. I just didn't feel like myself wearing those clothes anymore. Like I just kind of outgrew some things, not like physically outgrew, but just like my style has evolved since then. I'm excited to just like continue adding slowly, really nice pieces that are gonna last me forever. So I'm just sharing a little bit of what I've been adding to my collection lately. And usually I try to follow the rule of if you buy something, you need to get rid of something. It's not always that strict, but it's more just along the lines of I hate clutter. I hate disorganization. I hate having too much. And if I haven't worn it for over a year, I'm probably not going to wear it. Also, the fit is really important. So sometimes I will size up two sizes if I like the vibe of it more. I'm not afraid of different sizes. I'm not afraid of trying different sizes because usually I'm in between sizes anyway so it's more just about like the overall fit that I'm going for so yeah I hope you enjoy this video everything will be linked down below comment which item is your favorite and let me know if you want to see more videos like this first up is this black suit vest and these black trousers I think this set looks so chic it's so simple and relaxed I have so many places to wear it I'll pretty much always wear it with loafers I've just always felt like suit vests and wide leg trousers just look really elegant, but also effortless. And it's just a comfortable way to elevate your style. My sunglasses just broke. <laughs> okay, second is this bag from Zara. I, the second I saw this, I had to have it like, there was only one in the store and I had to have it. It was a bit pricey, but I had the perfect place to wear it. Like literally that following week. Um, it's black on the inside. Just gotta be careful not to get the chain caught in it when you close it, but I love it so much. Okay. Haley is a very sad girl that I, I'm not including her in this video, so here we go. I'm going to include my Haley girl in this video. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Look at 
look at the camera. This is Haley. Yes, you're very cute. The best accessories are a wiener dog and a leather bag. <laughs> wiener dog, leather bag. If you don't know this about wiener dogs, you're supposed to hold them like straight across instead of up and down, it's better for their back. Yeah, she is being such a mama's girl today. It's like crazy. Are you gonna let me do anything? In about 10 minutes, I have to go see a few clients and then I'll be back with my next outfit. All right, next outfit is obviously the set that I have been loving. This camel coat, the whole, like it's all matching. This turtleneck, these wide leg trousers. Um, I'm pairing it with black leather loafers, a black leather bag and a black belt and just like a cute silver necklace. But yeah, I, I just love how effortlessly chic this is. Like, I feel really put together. Like all I need is to put on this coat and I feel like a million bucks. You can like tie these together um, in the back if you just want it open or obviously you can close it. I wore this nonstop all winter. Next, I wanna show you this lip combo. This is MAC, the matte lip in Burnt Spice. It's like their best seller. And then this is from Anthropology, but the brand is PYT Beauty. It's a natural clean. So I already have this one on right now and it does dry out your lips a little bit like over time with overuse. So I always have Burt's Bees like in my bag for like the night after I wear this, but that is most matte lipsticks. It's not really just this one. So, but the color I just feel is so good. I'll put like a couple dots of like blush too and like rub that in normally. So I'll put like my Ogi stick and then I'll do a couple dots of this and then I will add this on top once it's dry. But yeah, I just absolutely love the way that the combo looks and I have been also putting this like a teeny bit on my eyelids like i just kind of swipe across and like dab in so it has kind of like a glowy shine to it so i don't know if you can see that but it just gives it i don't know it just gives like my look just a little bit something extra So this next set is a set from Mango. Um, I love the ivory. It is a bit low cut, so you might want to add something here. I've also worn it with something under it, like a turtleneck under it. Actually, my favorite part of this outfit is the shoes. <laughs> yeah, I'm obsessed with these. I just got them for a wedding and I cannot wait to wear these all the time. So I thought it would be a good thing to pair with this waistcoat set and like a black leather bag to kind of take the color from the shoes a little bit. So yeah. Clothing for me really has to do with feeling good, feeling good in who I am and how I show up in the world. It has a lot to do with energy. It's like embodying the energy of the person who I want to become. So in manifestation, there's a lot of talk about figuring out what you want and then showing up as if you already are that. Like if I had this amount of money or this amount of clients or if I achieved X, how would I show up? So if you were to already be your future self who has achieved everything you want to achieve, how would that look? So how would this version of you show up in the world? How does she carry herself? How would she dress? 
What daily habits does she have? What does this self-actualized version of yourself look like? So it's about the energy and the feeling that I want to create in my life. And so that's kind of how I think of dressing myself and like that's how I look at fashion and style. So at a certain point I realized my old clothing wasn't fitting with the person who I was becoming. I know that sounds like kind of weird and strange but it's true. It really just, I just looked in my closet and was like no, like I'm not really feeling this anymore. And it's not like if you visualize your future self being very wealthy that you have to go out and buy a ton of designer brands right now when it's really just not financially the right move. I'm not saying that. I'm saying just try to embody the energy of who that person is. You hear a lot, dress for the job you want, not the job you have. Well, I take it a step further, dress for the life you want. And I know not everyone looks at clothing this way and that's okay, but I'm just sharing how I look at it. So there's that whole piece, but then there's just the other piece of it just feels so good to feel good in your clothing and to look nice. It's just, it boosts your confidence. For me, my personal style is definitely a vehicle for self-expression. So I hope that makes sense. Okay, back to the next piece. Next is this little black dress from Zara. Like, it speaks for itself. <laughs> And I got it with this blazer. It's like a cropped blazer, which I don't have. I don't, I never had a cropped blazer before. Oh yeah, and it's got shoulder pads, like mega shoulder pads. If you can see, <laughs> I have like linebacker shoulders, but I kind of think that it makes it more chic that way like just for this outfit so black bag or the silver one I actually had to go to a funeral and I wore this outfit with tights and boots and this bag So you could also wear this with tights and boots. I love these boots. I had my eye on them for months. I have never had a pair of knee-high boots before, like ever in my life. So when I saw them at Nordstrom, I wanted them, but I waited because I just felt like, Kryn, you don't need those. And then months went by and I actually had the perfect occasion to wear them. So I just went ahead and Pull the trigger and I really, really, really love them for winter. Anything formal. So yeah, hopefully you don't have to go to a funeral anytime soon, but if you do, this blazer and this dress is a really good option. I also would love to like sew a button on here and then wear this with high-waisted black trousers, like wide leg pants. I feel like that would be so cute. Well, let's do one or two more outfits. Next are these jeans from Zara. This is just a basic every turtleneck. What I really wanna highlight here are these jeans from Zara. The fit is amazing. They are so light. They are so like stretchy, like literally can squat, can sit cross-legged. Like it's not too tight around the waist. The sizing is so amazing. Jeans normally stretch out a little around the waist, so these will a little bit, so just know that. They come in several colors. I also want them in black. These sling back heels are also from Zara. And I also got this vest from Zara over the winter. It was, I think $49, $49. But again, I have no vests. The one vest I owned was an Under Armour vest and I sold it on my Mercari store. So yeah, like I saw this like nude colored vest and I was like, this is made for me, like literally. I sized up a little because I wanted just, like a baggier fit. It's like so soft. I wanted to bring it to LA with me, 
but it wouldn't fit in my luggage, so. The jeans are like a stone color. I'm obsessed. And I love, love, love the like worn ripped hem on the bottom. And I love how they're wide leg. And finally, this olive pinstripe oversized button down from Zara. I love olive. Like if I'm going to wear a color, it's probably gonna be like olive green. So I like earthy colors. These jeans are straight leg jeans from Abercrombie, which I hadn't shopped at Abercrombie since I was like 13 years old. But I recently went in there when I was in LA because I am in between sizes and jeans and they have so many jeans. So I thought at least I could just maybe grab a pair of jeans that actually fit me. I loved these. They were the last ones in the store with this raw hem on the bottom. So I would usually kind of uh, tuck like one side of the shirt in. And I don't know if I already said this, but I sized up two sizes for this oversized baggy effect. The jeans in the back are super cute. They're kind of tight up top and then they just open down at the bottom. I see myself wearing this as kind of like a swimsuit cover up when I'm on vacation. I love like a baggy cotton button down instead of a beach cover up or a, a white linen, like extra large button down for when I go to the beach. So I just feel like it's so cool and chic. Also, this bag was my favorite leather bag for two years straight. When I was in France, I discovered Cos. And it's this deep brown color. Like, I don't know if you can see like how stunning and gorgeous this deep brown color is. It has an adjustable strap. First of all, the perfect size because either my bags are too small or they're too big. If it's like my big wallet and my big phone and like a couple other things. I love like kind of the it's almost like a half moon shape, like a croissant. And they also have like a million different colors. They have they have a color that would, it's like ivory. They would match these little flip flops. So I'll link it down below. Or of course you could always go for like a chunkier slide. Sometimes if you're just going to the beach or something, you just want kind of a chunky, relaxed look. I also am so into straight leg jeans and wide leg jeans and high waisted is always my jam, but I will do mid rise. I will not get on the low rise jean train. I mean, never say never. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know below if you liked this video, if you want more, tell me what your favorite style was. Let me know if you want a part two.